Hi, I'm Helen Copeland-Smith from Time2 Resources. This video will help you to understand total revenue. If you want to make notes whilst following the video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link can be found in the description box below. Many businesses have an objective to make a profit or even to maximize profit. In turn, they may have a target to increase total revenue or to maximize total revenue. So, what is total revenue? Total revenue is the value of all sales made by a business in a given period of time. For example, we may say that a business has total revenue of £1 million made within a six month period. Total revenue can also be called turnover, revenue and sales revenue. These terms all mean the same thing. How do we calculate total revenue? We take the selling price of an individual unit and multiply it by quantity. By quantity, we mean the total number of units that the business has sold. The formula therefore is total revenue equals SP times Q. Let's have a look at a numerical example. A business sells chairs. Each chair has a selling price of £130. If it sold just one chair, it would have total revenue of £130. Each time it sells an additional chair, the total revenue will increase by the selling price of £130. If a business makes no sales, it will have zero revenue. Therefore, the total revenue is also zero. But as sales increases, the total revenue will also increase. If a business has sales of 500 units, or in this case, 500 shares, it has total revenue of £65,000. How did we calculate that? We took the selling price of £130 and multiplied it by the number of units sold, 500 shares, to get £65,000. Why not pause the video now whilst you fill in the rest of this table? How did you get on? Did you get these figures? We can clearly see that as sales increases, total revenue also increases. If the business makes sales of 2,000 shares, it now has a total revenue of £260,000. Here, we have shown this in a table of numerical information, but we can also show this information graphically. In order to show total revenue graphically, we first of all have to label our axes. On our vertical axes, we have revenue, shown in pounds, and on our horizontal axes, we have our sales. Remember, if the business makes zero sales, it will also have zero revenue. Therefore, our total revenue line is going to start at the origin at naught and slope upwards. Remember, it's important to both label the axes and the curve. So, what were the key points in this video? Profit equals total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue equals selling price times quantity. Total revenue is shown as an upward sloping curve starting at zero. One additional point, whether to increase or decrease the selling price in order to raise revenue depends upon the price elasticity of demand. Both profit and price elasticity of demand are covered in other videos. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now? Thank you for listening to this video. Hopefully you now understand total revenue.